The Canadian national team's Darna Sales finds herself juggling three kids and adjusting to the southern lifestyle here at the University of Alabama as she prepares for her fourth trip to the Paralympics. However, for the first time, she will not be competing in the water, but on the basketball court. I started really late in life, I'll be honest. Um, so I was actually a swimmer, and I swam on the Canadian national team, and I went to three Paralympics, and I did very well in that. And then um, I had an injury in 2010 and it made it so that I couldn't train the way that I needed to train for swimming anymore. And I had some friends and they were like, well, hey, you know, you're looking for something to do, come play wheelchair basketball. And I was like, oh, I don't know about that. There's a chair and there's a ball and there's all these different things and you get to work with other people, like all these skills I didn't have coming from swimming. And I went out the first time and I was so terrible, but I just loved it, it was so fast. And that's what I really like about the game. Do you think the hardest transition for you um, was from, from swimming to basketball was to kind of have to work with people or what would Absolutely. you say? Dealing with other people is definitely different. I mean, when I was swimming, I had to deal with my own screw-ups, and I've been doing that for years, so I was really comfortable. Like, I'm okay, I know I'm not perfect, I know I screw up, that's totally fine. But having to deal with other people's screw-ups and like trying to be encouraging when other people aren't doing so well and bringing people up while still trying to think about the game and still trying to do what you're supposed to do, and there's many different um, facets. It's 180 degrees different, but that's why I think that I can play it now and because it's so different from swimming. With the Olympics coming up this year, um, in Rio, how are you feeling about that? Oh, I'm hopeful that I'll make the team. I mean, it would be amazing. I'm, I, I've been to three Paralympics and it, there's just something about it. It's an experience you never get anywhere else and you never will get anywhere else. And you, the people you'll meet, you'll never meet anywhere else. And so uh, I'm just super excited to maybe have that opportunity again. And this time, in a team sport where there's other people to support you through the highs and the lows. Um, since you've been before, just like kind of what's like the biggest thing um, that you're most excited for if you get to go back? Um, well, I mean, opening ceremonies is just amazing. Like getting to walk into that stadium and the crowd and everyone is just so, like it's the loudest place I've ever been. And and it's just, it's just like, it shakes you to the core that these people are this excited and they're, you know, that, cheering for everybody who walks in like it's deafening it doesn't matter which country walks in like yes the home country it's always the loudest but it's deafening throughout and like to walk in and you first walk out of the tunnel and you and you just see that crowd of people and it's so loud and you march through and you're wearing your country's colors and it's like the proudest moment you're ever going to be to be whatever nation you're from you know what the Paralympics is really awesome is that you see these people who who are excelling in a sport regardless of what challenges at home they're facing and you know that's kind of neat and it, it kind of it's it's uplifting to see that you know push through whatever you need to to, to make the life that you want. Sales could find out if she will be traveling with the 2016 Canadian team to Rio as early as this May. Reporting live for the University of Alabama, I'm Hannah Keeling.